What's up, you mother suckers? Welcome to another episode of Mother Sucker Podcast. I'm your host, Michael Blackson. I'm here with Chinese best friend. Hey, welcome. Thank you guys for listening again. I guess we are uh, making headlines all over the world, Michael Blackson. How? Did you hear that we are top 265 globally? Globally is like... Yeah, I don't know what kind of globe they're talking about, though. What does that mean, Mike? Do you know? I mean, global sound like worldwide. I mean, are really? You sure? Yeah, and then I I check. Uh, I guess we we made a dent on China too. I guess they're listening to us. Well, why do you think they listen to us, Chinese best friend? I have no idea, Mike. Don't be a fucking stupid. Why? Uh, you're Chinese. Oh yeah, you're right. I'm thirty five percent Chinese. I did that DNA test. I didn't want to have a... And what's the other 65? Was there any black in you? I am 1% uh, British. Uh, you know, my cousins, a lot of my cousins are... Fuck your cousins, Chinese best no. friend. What are you? I am uh, 25% from a small town in, in uh, Accra, Ghana. You're a fucking, you're a fucking Ghana, nigga. Yeah. You know, we all came from Africa, Mike. Chinese and you're Filipino. How, many, how uh, much is Filipino? Spaniard. There's a Spaniard also. You know, a lot of... A lot of the Spaniards went to the small town in the Philippines and impregnated while they were in a ship. You know, Mag- Magellan went there on a journey. Mm-hmm. And on that journey, I guess, impregnated one of my grandmothers or something. So I'm about... Uh, you have, you're like a fruitcake. you like like yeah. German, Puerto Rican, yeah. Mexican, Chinese, Filipino. Any Thai in you? I'm sure we're all the same. I'm not. I have no time. How about you, Mike? Yes, I I found out what I am. Um, well, what are you? My dad is black. And my mother's black as hell. <laughs> you know what? Uh, for your birthday this year, I'm gonna give you a, a DNA uh test to see where it will show the maps where your parents are coming from. Boom, 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 like that. For real? Yeah. In the map, it, it shows like uh. I'm from here, I'm from there, and then out of nowhere, I, my dumbass put my real name, and I get messages from people like, oh, hey, uh, I think we're cousins. I'm like, oh, oh shit. That, did you really take that DNA? Is that what I happens? did. It's, it oh, my God. I knew this one girl that it happened to where she took a DNA test and found that she had a sister. Really? Yes. You didn't tell me that. Nah, I mean, some girl I know. It's not me. Not like me. what kind of sister? Like a, like a real fucking sister, like a same father, different mother. Oh, from that DNA shit. Yes. Was the father and a sister? Um, uh, oh, father and a mom still together? Fuck no. The dad was just laying his eggs around. Oh, they they're not married anymore. You're, I'm no, saying. they're not married. He, she just found out. That's how she found out she had a sister. Oh through that, shit. That um, DNA thing. That's yeah, because they. You know, when you sign up for that, it's like a whole goddamn social media chat room. Yeah, I'm not saying. And that. then they link your shit. They're like, oh, you notification. Your cousin just uh, uh like 85% match, you know? So all my cousins are all there. And I, I decided to change my name to something else. To what? So I don't I don't want to be dealing with, you know, what if my dad or may have a, you know, missing child somewhere, you know? You mean like another Chinese? They're looking. Chinese, they're like, looking. Another, like another Chinese best friend, Junior? No, yeah, you're right. Like my dad, there was a girl looking for, uh, he, he, she's looking for his father. And she was like, Did you fuck not her? like a 100% match with me. Did you like, fuck the girl? No, 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 no. She's looking, she's old already. She's around my age. She's looking for her dad. Why is she, what do you mean she's old? Because she's your age. You 30 something, you young. What the suck? I just turned 40. When you went to Ghana and played with them peacocks, I turned 40. Yeah. I was hoping you bring one at the fucking airport for my birthday present. Can I legally bring a peacock, you think? I don't know. I Is think that a that's a wild animal. No, you think it's wild? Yeah, you get in trouble with that. Can hey, Brennan, is a, a peacock a wild animal, uh, a endangered species? No. You could See? have that as a pet? No. It's not endangered, but I don't think endangered means you can't have it as oh. a pet. I'm 
not sure. If oh, you can have that as in your. I, I, I don't know if one relates to the other. But they're not in danger. You, you, for a fact, you have a fucking eagle. I know an eagle will kill you. You can't have an eagle? Eagle will kill you. I mean, eagle having is, nah, is a, you in danger. You can't have that in your house. Nah, I remember when I was a kid. Yeah. In Liberia, my mother uh, was one point like a, um, I don't know, she was was living in this one place and um, this one town and the president's son lived there. This guy had a zoo. He owned oh. a zoo. He had in eagles. In his house? Like at his house, and like he had a zoo at his house. So he had eagles. And oh. you know how they fed the eagles with? What? Live chickens. Yeah. Oh, he used to be so sad when they threw them chickens in there and the eagle just cha 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 kill them and eat them. He has like an American eagle? Like a what? Nigga, a, a African eagle. Eagle is eagle. There, there's an African e- eagle? There's no, eagle is an eagle, man. Regardless where they're from, just like you have chickens in America, you have chickens in uh, in Africa. You have eagles in America. You have eagles in Africa too. Okay, you have lions here. There's lions there. Do you know? I I see a episode in Discovery Channel that an eagle picked up a a deer, and you know they bring them all the way up, right? To no. kill them, they drop them off, and they boop, they die, and then they go pick it back up. So that's what they were trying to do. I said another episode, it's like this eagle's trying to grab a baby. No. Yeah. They grab it. Did he drop the baby? No, no, no. They, he wasn't able to grab it, like, real good. You kidding me. Yeah, they, they usually grab, uh, like, a hawk will grab your, your puppy at your backyard. It's some crazy shit. What's the craziest thing you ever seen done to, like, like an animal done to, like, another animal? Well, you know, in, in the Philippines, a lot of stray dogs, you see these motherfuckers walking around like uh, their dick stuck in the uh, the other dog's vagina, and they walk around. You never oh, see yeah, a yeah, fucking Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw that in Africa a few times. Yeah, you see it like that? And then my grandma goes like, let me go get some salt. And then they go, boom, and then they... They put so- pour salt on the dog's dick? Yeah, so they stop fucking breeding, Michael Blackson. Now you're going to have fucking Peter... No, that's Come what. Th- well, you rather have a bunch of fucking puppies, stray puppies. Everywhere? Yeah, them fucking circumcising a dog without his permission. That's He's gonna not, burn his fucking skin off his dick, his dog's dick. That's what they do, because to end. Uh, How'd you like somebody pour salt on your fucking dick while you trying to fuck the big Chinese baby mother? Well, I don't fucking public. That's true. Yeah, they walk around in front of a goddamn school and shit. Walk around like. Well, yeah, stray dogs. I guess they are only in America. I don't have that many stray dogs. They'll, they'll, yeah, they <laughs> the SPCA would get them, and then they take them into clean them up and charge you fucking five thousand for them yeah. dogs. I'm like these niggas homeless. I could have got it for free. Now you want to <laughs> charge me five grand because you took gave this fucking dog a bath, a bubble bath. Yeah, they did. You know that in the shelter there is zero dogs available thanks to COVID nineteen. Everybody, their neighbor and their grandma and their kids everybody adopted dogs why because people are lonely mike did you know that oh because they're quarantined by themselves yeah you know i go to a pet store shit all the fishes a lot of fish gone birds are gone parakeet everybody <laughs> got par- well matter of fact your manager eric i think he bought like three of them parrots. i was at his house i saw the fucking yeah you saw it how many he got like five six of them fuckers <laughs> Fuck you doing with a bird? What kind of work? Yeah, he's trying to teach him how to fucking talk. Do they talk? I don't know. I I'm not a. I love pets. I don't like cats. I love dogs. I like birds. I hate snakes. But I would not have a because they're like babies. You have to take care of them. You yeah. have to feed them yeah, and dude. love them and love. talk to them. Man, I ain't got time for that shit. I barely have enough time with my kids. Fuck them. What we doing talking to a fucking bird? Well, you know what. If you teach them how to talk, maybe you could say marasaka. That'd be dope. Imagine that. A parrot saying every time you walk in the house, hey, marasaka. That's a possibility, Damn. Mike. Did you get one from Eric? No, I don't want a fucking bird, man. I fuck when I catch bird flu. I'm good. <laughs> well, I, today's a big, it's a, a lot of things going on in the news. A lot of things going on, on social media. Oh. So we're gonna get her up and bring our guests on um onto the show. 
Uh, we forgot to put your uh, talk about your outfit. Oh, my outfit. Okay, yeah. Okay, fine. That's. I mean, you wearing some bootleg jersey? That yeah, has, I, I got. I got it from my friend. Yeah. Oh, has Michael Blackson. The yeah. camera is over there. You might want to turn to the camera over there. Oh, the camera's right oh, there. It's one over there too. Okay, my bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I you know I forgot who gave it to me, but my sh- my name is on it. Uh, Mike, this is not an NBA team. Just to let you know. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was I'm wearing uh Yeah, what you wear it looks very well, colorful. This, is, this hat I forgot who guy that made this for me, but it says on it. Says the African King of Comedy on it. Right, and I went a Versace shirt with some I felt fruity today, like orangey. Yeah. I drank some orange juice, ate an orange, and then I wore orange. <laughs> Yeah, you, you you look like uh the Skittles uh oh, uh, candy, you. Michael Blackson. Thank you very much, man. But uh, uh, a lot of the colors full stuff or always matches you. It, you know, it mm. looks good on you. The colorful you. stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, no. I always I think I get more compliments with the colorful stuff. So I agree. Yeah. Thanks for noticing, man. Yeah, you're Thanks. welcome, Mike. I hope Versace notice soon and. Maybe give you a contract. I don't know. Yeah, I hope so too, man. If not, I'm just gonna uh, take my dog outside of Versace that I'm fucking public and pour salt <laughs> on them. See what happens. Yeah, they'll probably close them down. I know. I just say, yeah. All right, let's bring our guest on. Um, very beautiful, very sexy. You know, I haven't seen. I really haven't looked at a beautiful woman since I got engaged. Yeah. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Paula is in the building today. Come on, beautiful. Miss Paula is in Paula, the building. Paula, sit next to me. Uh, goodness, look at that. Welcome to Mother Sucker Podcast with Michael Blackson. Hey, Paula, Paula, what are you? Like, what are you? Um, Are you like half Mexican, half Puerto Rican? You got a little Japanese no, in you? you? No, I'm Colombian. Colombia, okay. Yes. Colombiano, yeah. yeah. But I'm mixed race, so like black, some European. Yeah, black in you. Yes, my grandpa was black. Oh. Some European and then some indigenous. And I feel like when you're mixed, like. Uh, I never heard of a country called indigenous. Where's that? Is that uh, in Mexico? <laughs> Small town no. in uh, Tijuana? Is that? <laughs> no, and so like indigenous, like from, like native Colombian, like the oh. Indian people from Colombia. Oh. Yeah, mm. yeah. Did you know that Chinese? Best I'm indigenous. I'm in dang- I'm I'm dangerous. <laughs> in dangerous. Indigenous. 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 Yeah, it's like Native indigenous. Americans, you know, they're oh. indigenous people. Yeah. Me and Mike went to a, a public school that doesn't offer good teachers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I did. Well, you went to Los Angeles public schools? Yeah, they I went to Philadelphia public school, man. Yeah. Where did you go to school? Also, Los Angeles. Public school. Yeah. yeah. But you, so you, I, Eddie, you took you you listened. He's fucking yeah. listening nothing. He I was didn't. always late. <laughs> yeah. But you was on you was on time for lunch, right? Yeah, I was uh, always there. Uh, cookies and pizza. Is what That's I what you, is that was your favorite lunch. Yeah. Did you used to do the the white milk or the chocolate milk in school? Do you guys get milk? Like, see, I went to school. My, I'm more. I'm on like nineties guy. Yeah, nineties. 97, 8, 9, 10. 90, 10? Oh, no. 2000. No, yeah, I graduated year 2000. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, you're not uh, very far from me, Mike. No, I'm not. I'm 90, though. I was like, I was getting milk and chocolate milk. Uh, uh, what you guys drink we in got, school? Yeah, milk. we got milk, too. So we got pizza. Chocolate milk. We got all the bad foods yeah, in chicken. public school. There's chicken. We mean chicken. We're yeah, like- chicken school. Yeah. Like two piece chicken. Like pizza was like more like a Friday thing, I think. It was like a mm. Friday. Only on Fridays? Yeah, but then the rest of the days you got the bullshit, you know. No, we got hot dogs. Um what's the 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 corn dog? Yeah, corn dog. Oh, yeah, got corn dog. Yeah, hot dogs, pizza, oh. like hamburgers, all the bad things. And always milk on the side. Oh yeah. Okay, that's a good idea. Uh yeah, he he's trying to like finish up his uh food in Ghana. Uh he has a school. I'm building a school. Yeah. No. Yeah, that's, so. in, that's like a dream of mine in Colombia, to do For that real? in Colombia. Yeah, my wow. mom and I want to do that. So, wow, congrats. They need teachers Thanks, and man. principals in Ghana. Would you like to be a principal? I would love that. Or a teacher. A teacher. Hey, especially now that you guys are about to be out of OnlyFans. That's right. That's What's right. happening with OnlyFans, Michael? Only so, did you hear about OnlyFans? So, no. starting in October. What? 
Nudity is no longer allowed. No. Right? So I heard that nudity is. It's just the explicit content like porn. But I think oh. you can still you can still post nudes. You just you can't just have can't, sex. Oh, so you can have a show your coochie you can shove a dick in it. <laughs> oh, even a dildo? Exactly. Or right. A no ma- no masturbation. No? No. I got the email and everything. Like they sent uh, out an email and they were like, Yeah, so no more sex. Can we print that out so we could show it to the world? Yeah. Whoever so it's not that bad. You guys gonna be okay then. I think I'm gonna be okay because I don't do porn on there, but it is still gonna indirectly affect me because I feel like most subscribers are gonna <laughs> are gonna I'm leave, you know, because they're like, I don't wanna pay for not, you know, not and not see some sex, you know? So or something super sexy. So I think indirectly it is gonna affect me, yeah. Wow. Um so uh, so pretty much, yeah, because we thought it, OnlyFans yeah. was going because OnlyFans without sex is what Only Instagram. True, yeah, yeah. or TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, so true. Oh uh, well, damn! So you know, I mean, you guys gonna lose some followers, right? Yes. You're gonna lose some fans. I've already lost some subscribers. No, a I mean, lot over fifty. Yeah, I was like at a thousand. 500 so 1500 wow. and now i'm like 500 no that's a lot yeah you lost a thousand yeah. no it's crazy yeah people well, were like i'm out of here so what are you going are you going to sell pussy in the stat? like what are you going to do just <laughs> like, <laughs> i the, thought about it the way you asked the question so like, you're just gonna sell some pussy because <laughs> if not mcdonald's how much mcdonald's ch- pay an hour now what is the hourly pay at mcdonald's i have no idea mike i haven't applied there yet well, they got to be at fifteen dollars an hour. They get paid that much? Wow! Well, nah, in California, probably minimum oh, yeah. wage has moved up. In fifteen dollars an hour, true, it has moved up. It's moved up definitely. Mm-hmm. Well, what are you gonna do at McDonald's, Mike? Offer some extra French fries on so the side? So you guys are allowed to be naked. You just can't do nothing. So you've lost right. some money. Yes, a lot of money. I mean, was that your full time job? Well, no, I had. I did have some side hustles, but I did get comfortable and like I kind of oh. dismissed my, well, not dismissed, but I kind of neglected my side hustles a little bit because mm-hmm. I was making good money, you know, and yeah. I got comfortable. So I kind of dismissed them a little bit, but I still have that to kind of fall back on. So what you want to But no, do? I'm nervous. I'm yeah. definitely nervous. So were you between like the five to $10,000 a month only fan income? Yeah, or like- I was making like 15000 Whoa. Ooh. And a month. And on a, I had like, the best month for me was February. I made like 30K that month. Holy crap. Yeah. February of 21? Or yes. 20? 21. Uh, when did you start? Did you start during the pandemic? or you? No, before? right before the pandemic, actually. Ooh. Yes. And I literally was not doing porn. And I was still making that much money. Damn. Just yeah. showing your coochie. Just twerking. Literally twerking, oh, dancing. Twerking. I wasn't even nude at first because mm. I didn't want to be. Um, and they were still subscribing. and like just because yeah, people, if they like you. They don't yeah. really need to see nudity. True. Man, a lot of those men on there are just lonely. They just want to talk True. to you. Right? They just want to talk. Like, send your picture. What's the weirdest thing somebody asked you to send them? Like like your left toe? <laughs> <laughs> no, even weirder. Like uh, They were like, S- send me a video of your butthole while you're farting. <laughs> really? Yeah. Shit. Uh, well, how much? Well, how yeah. much? <laughs> I was like, I was like much? send how me a thousand dollars because I, I, I don't know. I can't. I feel like Did you do the it? fart won't even come out because I'm like, right. I'm just not used to that. Well, you could have just like, I didn't even try. You could have eaten some burritos. Nah, just made an artificial <laughs> fart noise like oh, you're right. off the end and off Google. Right. But I think he would have noticed because I think he got like, <laughs> he got a lot of those. And he even sent me uh, like an example of how he wanted what it. What the <laughs> fuck? Who the hell is that? Right, is and I think like subscribe? the ball. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, he's probably gonna be your last guy. You're gonna yeah. Know. You're gonna have to send buttholes a uh, fart every week. That's fine. <laughs> Twice, a, three times a month, five grand. But that's that's porn. She can't do it. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Well, well, she didn't shove nothing on her ass unless she put a microphone in there. No, but to you get could the... send message like somewhere else on Instagram. No, no, he wants the only fans. Mm-hmm. Don't fuck up his. He's paying. What is it? Twenty bucks a month for you? What do you? No, fifty. Oh no, eleven, eleven actually. Whoa. Eleven dollars and eleven cents. Yeah, that's my uh, my price a month. Is that your date of birth? The fuck is that about? Yeah, is that your <laughs> no, birthday? It's like my number, my angel number, eleven, eleven. Oh. I see it a lot. Mike, do you know your angel number? I don't know mine. Uh, probably seven, seven. That's a good one. That's a spiritual number. Oh. Seven seven seven. Like if you see repeating numbers, it, they mean things, you know. I and I strongly believe in that. Like if you see eight eight eight, 
And I know a lot of Asians really love that number. It means financial abundance, like money. Oh my God. Do you also know when, when you when you see eight 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 eight? Whenever your account has a fraud on it and it frees your and if you tell the bank like, hey, my is a fraud on my account, shut my account off, they will make it negative eight hundred and eighty eight thousand dollars with eight eight eight. Wow. You had to make it the purpose to do that that way nobody cannot try to take money because you're negative. But you're negative eight 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 thousand dollars, eight hundred and eighty eight thousand dollars. Wow, see? Money. I'm only negative eight hundred and eighty eight dollars. Is that uh fraud too or no? Nah, yeah. That's uh overspending. Yeah, you just overdraft. Nigga. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, hopefully they charge me more overdraft fees, so it'll be like eight, eight, nine. Uh <laughs> but yeah, so fuck. So you lost half you lost over half of your followers. So I'm losing money. I'm losing money. I did hear about this other platform called I think it's All right, we're not gonna invite time. Oh, you. you're right. Okay. But you heard of another platform. I did hear of another platform. They gotta pay us. And and what are they about? Um, so basically the same thing. I'm just thinking about it right now. I don't know if I want to go into it because I'm thinking I can keep my OnlyFans and just dive into another, you know, just something else. Maybe do yoga videos and sell those because I, yeah, I do really yoga. Good. So I'm, Do you know why was the purpose of them getting, getting rid of porn on OnlyFans? Yeah. Well, I heard it's because they want to make more money and some investors didn't want to invest in something that was related, you know, with sex work. That's what I heard. But invest, I'm at, it's but I'm already like, a billion dollar company right? now. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. We, we made them billions. Yes. And it sucks that now they're turning their back on us because we made them so much money. But that's what I heard, though. I could be wrong. I also then heard, you know, about the credit card credit thing. Cards, I don't right. know if so, yeah, that's So with the credit true. card thing, what did you, what did you, what you thought about that? Oh, yeah. I guess they, they uh, a lot of Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Cash App, they don't want to get involved with with the uh, only fans i guess cuz there's so many chargebacks or what is mm. that called returns mm mm-hmm. so you could just call argue hey i didn't pay for this porn a lot of guys would do that yeah. i feel like a lot of men who were broke and couldn't afford to you know to oh. look at our content would purposely you know buy it and then would charge like ask for a refund Mm. Just so they could get their money back, so they were sneaky. They were How they were they good ask about for that. A refund? They they amused this motherfucker. No, no, they tell the credit card company like I didn't huh? order this. No, they would tell OnlyFans. Huh? What they would tell mean? OnlyFans to um, they that they wanted their money back because they didn't meet the expectations or whatever. And but so, that seemed more like a reason why OnlyFans would want to. Um, yeah, because because yeah, but it, yeah, cause, it does make more sense. Yeah, maybe they're losing money because of that. Or do they get the money back? Or? Yeah, OnlyFans would pay them back. And then you don't lose the money? I wouldn't. Uh, sometimes I wouldn't. Sometimes I would. It would oh. just depend. But most of the times, OnlyFans would lose so the money. So that's what happens then, Mike. They're losing money. Only Maybe, fans yeah. Only losing their money. Well, they ran out of this PPP loan, those fucking oh, yeah, right. broke fuckers, and unemployment is almost over. Three months later. Like, yeah, fuck, you know, oh, all the shit. fucking the stimulus checks is gone. You're right. They're trying to recover. Niggas broke, my nigga. <laughs> they are broke, man. So they're trying to read they, every every means necessary to try to get this money back. So people mm-hmm. are like, mm-hmm. I request for the left toe, not the right toe. Okay, <laughs> I want my two thousand back. Exactly. But it, you know what? I think what start happening now. I think now those girls gonna really become outside workers, right? Well, no, not just work at McDonald's or Burger King. They are gonna start really selling. Some women will really try to start selling pussy. They're gonna be starting getting booked by those guys. Possibly, yeah. You know that's possible, right? Have you ever been booked? No. Have you? I'm sure. Have you had requests? Yes. But if you have to get booked, what do you think your book price will be? You think? <laughs> that's a good question. Is it more how than uh, Barack Obama's new book that came out? <laughs> what? How much is this book? Um, I am the president. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think you have it here, Mike. Uh, what you? I mean, what do you think? What do you think you're worth? I mean, what do you think you're worth it for one night? You think? I'm priceless. <laughs> it's price no, everything. it's just. Oh, I don't. I would be so uncomfortable. Like for especially real? if I'm not attracted to that guy, I just couldn't perform. Uh, I just couldn't. You know, no matter how much he paid me, because I get nervous. Like I, I get nervous. One of my favorite movies in the world is Indecent Proposal. You ever seen I haven't proposal? seen it. No. Great movie. Chinese best friend. Have you seen Indecent Proposal? No, Mike. What the fuck kind of Chinese forty year old are you? The only one I saw was a 
Be Pretty Woman. Say same thing. <laughs> no. That's such a good Best movie. Clothes. But in decent proposal, okay. So it was um Woody Harrison, Demi Moore. Oh. Mm-hmm. Newly married couple struggling with bills. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh struggling with bills. Um and about to lose their house. And one day they decided to go to Vegas. They went to Vegas and he's like gambling and he's like, you know, trying to win this money back for his house. Yeah. And he's uh he, he was here yeah, like he was he was what? He was trying to win like, I don't know, twenty let's see he's trying to win twenty thousand dollars. Yeah. He's up to ten thousand. Uh-huh. He's like, you know, like just keep going. They couldn't decide whether they should keep going or just just take this ten thousand dollars. Decided yeah. to keep going, and guess what happened? He lost everything. He lose everything, of course. Yeah, that's big. So now they lose the money. We, uh, you know, he's just they're just they're both walking around in separate ways, just look trying to trying to find a way to like. She's just walking in the store. He's trying to find some money. Yeah. He probably had a couple of dollars left, trying to play his last slot change. <laughs> yeah, slot yeah, that's machine. That's what I was doing on your birthday last two years ago. It didn't you work lost out. everything and started playing slots. Yeah, and it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> so she went into this one store, yeah. expensive store, and of course a billionaire walks in the store, and he's like, "Oh, it's a nice dress, something like that." And he's like flirting with her, but she like, mm. "Oh, she's like, oh no, I can't afford it." And you know, she's like, and she just, you know, she just left out the store, or whatever, right? Yeah. And then she's back with her husband, and then they walk into the casino. And um, and she he the the guy is Robert Redford is the Ooh. billionaire. Yeah, I, I know him. I like him. Love Robert Redford. So he's a rich guy. He's playing um, blackjack or some kind of card game. He's playing blackjack switch. Maybe not blackjack. I forgot what the fuck he was playing. Baccarat. Maybe Baccarat. I don't fuck. I don't think Baccarat was that old. Paigal. Oh, never mind. Okay, one of them motherfuckers. But he, you know, he's. He's um he's playing he's losing and he's seeing her yeah. and he asked the guy he asked the guy hey my if I borrow your wife for like luck yeah his fucking luck oh. he, we know his luck is fucked you know yeah. what I mean he just he's like oh yeah sure you know she is okay with her he's like she's like sure 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 so they're playing a the card game and she's you know she's losing they are losing and oh. she was like he said um card is not your game he's like nah card is not my game that's not she said she like craps so go to the crap table. And this guy called, make a phone call for like, you know, a million dollars, whatever. Yeah, he put all that shit, put all that million mm-hmm. on one thing huh? and told her to go throw the crap. Oh. Whatever it is she wanted. I don't know much about craps, but she wanted? He, du- he doubled his money. Yeah. Right? And she, he was like, oh my God, thank you. You're such a luck for me. And then. Uh, he said, what are you guys doing here? He said, we're just here for the weekend. He said, listen, he said, we, then the guy was like, we're about to leave, we're about to leave. He said, no, don't leave. Let me comp your room, you know. Yeah. Let's have dinner, you know, whatever. It's on me, appreciate it. And he probably just gave her a couple of dollars. I'm not sure what, I'm not sure he even gave her any money or whatever, you what? know. What? Well, he, I'm not sure if he gave her any money, but I know for a fact, he stay, stay you know, let's, let me comp you guys, let's have dinner, you know. So he did. Can't put him in a nice suite, you know. And then that dress that she looked at, mm-hmm. he had to deliver to her room. Oh, the five thousand dollar dress. But she didn't want to, you know, mention the husband like she she saw this guy at that place. Yeah, you know. So he, he so he said so she put it on for them to go to dinner with them, and then they went to dinner, and then they was talking about you know, he the guys was talking about like love and like you know, can money buy love all that stuff and. You know, but then the guy's like, well, not really, you know, whatever. Make a long story short. He said, well, that's just hypothetically speaking. Let's say if I was for real. Mm -hmm. So what if I offer $1 million for one night with your wife? Yeah. And he is like, I think you're crazy. I think you're sick, you know, whatever, whatever. You know, but I just, I'm saying, what if it's real money? What if I'm serious right now? $1 million. You know, she should have got that million for playing for him, though. No, no, no. Doesn't work that didn't work that way. No. <laughs> what? He just, he just throw, he... throw a dice for her. Damn. Yeah, they don't give no, that But it was her, her luck. It was yeah, her it luck. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> so, you, you know, um, 
And then he, I think he got mad. He trying to offer his woman money, so they left, went to the room, mm -hmm. whatever. And while they were in the room, they, they start talking about it, right? Yeah. She's like, um, I mean, he's. She started naming all the raggedy guys she slept with. Yeah. You know, so I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I've seen I slept with Bubba. He's like, you slept with Bubba back? Who the fuck are you doing sleeping with Bubba? She's she trying she try to justify, yeah. like, if I slept with Bubba, I could sleep with this guy yeah. for a million dollars. You know, I slept with Bubba for free, you know? <laughs> so they're just going back and forth, and they he's trying to figure this. Mind you, they have no money. Yeah, they're no losing money. their house. Yeah. Damn. And, you know. And it's a million dollars. I mean, I make a long story short, they end up doing it. And, it, and a they bad. slept with the guy together. No, for a million dollars, I think he should have fucked them both. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so y'all gotta watch the movie to see the rap. It's a very great movie, indecent proposal. It's actually mm -hmm. on. Um, I, I'm not promoting nowhere where it's on. But mm. look, look for the movie. That's why I said a million dollars a night. You know, that's why I was trying to get to like what. Is, you know. Yeah, what's? But I mean, man, I guess a million. I mean, when you're talking millions, yeah, millions a lot. I mean, let's be realistic. Like, let's say, yeah, I mean, like Rod, Rod, allow me to have like one. I'd rather say I could like sleep with one woman a month. Like, let's say realistic money, like fifty thousand dollars. That's good money, right? Yeah. To to pay a wait to pay a girl for sex. Yeah. yeah, depends. It depends. I mean, it depends. Yeah, on a lot of things. I mean, but I think with with um, that's a lot of money. Mike. That's a lot. I think Now would you to let... sleep with you? You're they should pay you fifty thousand. Yeah, you're yeah, the yeah. African king of comedy, uh, Michael. But Brown. I, what is it? I mean, the action. What's the pussy going price on pussy right now? Chinese best. I have no think? fucking idea, Michael Blackson. I haven't mm. paid for no pussy. <laughs> well, I guess it also depends on where you are. I mean, I think. I was gonna it, say that, like the living in the, living in LA is so expensive, you know. It is. So fifty thousand may not be as much to somebody living here as opposed to somebody living in Texas but I, or. But I think I, I think I mean fifteen hundred dollars, you get an average. Yeah, girl. it's like a studio mm. rent. Five hundred for like you know a struggling bitch. Fifteen hundred, you know, only fans girl that thinks she's. Maybe yeah. three thousand, five thousand. I've yeah. heard one of my girls told me that she was paid five thousand. That's okay. a lot of money. But he was like a Is rapper. It? He was well off. Okay. So I was. I, it made sense. That much? Right? Have any pussy they want. I also thought about that. I was like, why does he have to pay? Oh, but they always but, want what they can't have. I guess so. Right. Maybe that's what it is. That's how it's it is. Bad, it's a mental game. Bad. Or maybe it's because he's ugly. Maybe he was ugly. <laughs> was it flavor flavor? <laughs> Does he have a clock on his chest? <laughs>